Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate some type into a photo like this. So let's get started. So we're in Photoshop, we have our image, we have our text. I'll leave uh, links in the description below for the stuff I use in this one. So first up, what we wanna do is just turn our text into a smart object. So right click on that layer and convert to smart object. So we can just resize it, and add filters, stuff like that without losing quality. Um, but we're going to change the perspective slightly of the, our type because we've got these building here, buildings here in the forefront and they're not uh, on the true vertical, they're slightly off. So we're going to make our type uh, match those buildings. So what we want to do is uh, Command T for free transform. Right click on that and choose perspective. And we're just going to bring it in, looking at the side of the end to match it up with the building. So got the side of the building there yep happy with that so just double click on that to finalize that effect now we want to give our type some um, dimension so the quickest way of doing this is without having to go into the 3d menu we are just going to duplicate this layer so right click duplicate layer call this one front call this one back and with the back one, we're first going to change the color just to sort of a 25% gray. So color overlay by double clicking on the layer to bring up the layer styles. Yeah, that do. And we're just going to push it up and just make it slightly smaller. So Command T again, for the free transform. Yep, happy with that. Now put these uh, two files, two files, two layers in a group. So hold down the shift key, select both of them, and then right click and then group from layers. Just call it type. Uh, open that folder and click on the back one. And now what we're gonna do is just fill in these gaps here just to make it look like those two are connected. We're just gonna do this a simple way for this one. You can spend some time having a different shade of gray and being really uh, finite with how you go around the top of these, but we're just gonna choose the same gray that we've got here. So eye for eyedropper, select that gray pen tool, making sure that we're on path and no, make sure we're on shape, not path. And then we're gonna just fill in these areas because it's behind the front one, we don't have to be too neat. Just for this video, I'm just gonna do Get the same color as gray like i said you can go through and make it a different color too So now we're done with that, close that folder. We are gonna mask out the part of the city that's gonna go in front of the type. So by doing this, we need to uh, duplicate the background because we're gonna put a mask over the top. Uh, we're gonna have to duplicate the background and put a mask off the background. So right click on there to duplicate layer, mask, and drag it to the top of our layer stack. And then we're just gonna reduce the opacity down just a little bit, just so we can see faintly where our type is gonna be. So we can roughly see we're gonna work with this line of buildings here. So I normally, there's a few ways you can do this. You can just use the, um, you can add a mask to this layer by clicking down the bottom icon, add a mask layer, and then just erase uh, the parts that we um, want to show through or you can as I'm going to do use the pen tool because it's a little bit more accurate and just go through masking a shape and then um, making a selection of that
So once we made our path, if that's the way you're doing it, I normally go to paths and then go to the drop down menu, make selection. Just give it a further of one pixel so it's not too harsh. Go out to layers, select the mask, and then press delete. Obviously, it's the wrong way around at the moment, so we deselect that, command D, and then we inverse the mask, making sure it's full opacity. So there we've we've got a type sort of nearly included down that sort of street area, but we need to add some shading because it wouldn't be just pure white all the way down. So what we're going to do now, the easiest way to do this and the easiest way to control the shadow is to duplicate this layer that the mask is on. So right click that, duplicate layer. And with the bottom one, you want to right click on the mask and apply layer mask and that will cut out that area that we've selected. And then we want to clip it to the type. So holding down the Alt key and in between the mask layer and the type group, it'll bring up a little arrow. Click on that. So it just be mark, just be clipped to this type. And then what we can do is double click on that layer, just in the empty area there, bring up the layer styles. We can just set drop shadow, making sure it's on minus 90. Um, select, don't select a pure black, select the darkest color you can see in this um, this area, which is probably somewhere down the bottom here with these colors here, which is sort of like a, uh, it seems like a darkish reddish gray. We just bring it down a little bit more. Okay, that. And so what we want to do now is just play with the opacity. That's maybe a bit too dark. Bring that down. Bring up the spread. A bit too harsh. And then the size, depending how how much up the text we want to do it. And because we use that, um, the mask is it. it. It has that contours of the city, shading that area, rather than doing it manually. So once we're happy with that, we can OK that. And uh, what also would be good to is that make it look like it's reflecting some of those lights from these buildings as well. So an easy and quick way to do that is to select that mask layer and duplicate it. OK that. Get rid of uh, the drop shadow. And then we want to change that to screen and uh, actually drag it above the mask layer and just make it slightly smaller so it looks like it's a reflection of the buildings that are there and we can just play around bring the opacity down slightly and also uh, maybe bring up the saturation a little bit so if you go to command U bring up the hue and saturation Bring out that saturation just so those lights sort of show through a bit. And also, let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I just add a couple of pixels just so it softens it down a bit because it's never a perfect reflection. So we've done that. And the last thing we can do is to add a new layer and clip that again and just get a black, a white brush. Just really soft, really big, and we can just go over the top of our type, bring down the opacity, just so there's more of a highlight at the top than there is at the bottom. We zoom out, have a look at that, and that's how we integrate some type into a photo of a city. I hope you found that useful, guys. Please leave me any questions in the comment section below. Otherwise, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, or thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video.